Hey, welcome back to the channel Pushriders. This video we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, it's still going to be mechanical stuff, but uh, I figure we might do a day, uh, sorry, a week in the life of a mobile mechanic. If you haven't already, jump onto the sh into the shorts, you'll see a heap of little shorts of uh, day in the life of a mobile mechanic. And you'll sort of see what I get up to. Just little snippets, day, up, you know, day in, day out, through the week. So, I'm going to start this, it's Monday. I didn't really get the chance to film, but uh, my day started at 7 o'clock in the morning. Drive over to Germana on the Mornington Peninsula, which is you know, quite a nice little spot down near the beach. Um, in Victoria here in Australia and we had an ABS Posi track that's one of our um, may have in the shorts there was a, a hydraulic leak I did on this particular machine and they've rang me back saying hey we've um, had a bearing failure on one of the track idlers or the rollers or whatever you want to call it so We've got down there, we've dismantled the machine, checked everything out, found that it needs a whole new hub assembly. So we're off to a business called Melbourne Tractors. They predominantly do earth moving and they're an ABS dealer. And yeah, that's um, the morning pretty much gone on uh, Monday, day one. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a little bit. With how I go finding parts. Well, we scored. So we've got our full brand new hub assembly, a little dust cap, hub cap with the O-ring, and they were kind enough to print us, uh, do a printout of the workshop, part of the workshop manual, as well as the uh, parts manual, but I already had that on PDF on my phone, so, all right. We'll give the customer a buzz and let them know what's going on and um, hopefully we should get back there tomorrow which will be Tuesday. We're back at HQ now. Uh, we had a heap of brass and aluminium to process separate from all the heavy inside steel which we've done so that's ready for Tuesday morning uh, about try and leave HQ around about seven o'clock uh, maybe a touch earlier because scrapyard opens about seven, I think so which is cool uh, We have a service showing up at nine o'clock So we'll get that done and then about uh, Hopefully around about lunchtime. We'll be back at our posi track to do the repairs uh, So here there's the brass aluminium, which has still got to be further processed and cleaned up and we got a little bit of copper, number two copper wire out of it too, so, which is pretty good. So, alrighty, well, I'm going to continue to process that lot. And we'll pick this up tomorrow, go into the scrapyard. scrapyard so we're um, battling traffic at the moment trying to get back to HQ because we've got a service coming up which you'll see in a in a moment or two and then we're off to Dramana again to finish up our posi track so I'll see you in a bit well our customers arrived as you can see I've already started on it it's in for a general service. It's a 380 Mitsubishi, or it's pretty much the last of the Magnus. It's like 
2000 and what was that? 2005 on the VIN. Uh, yeah, just air filter, engine oil filter, oil, uh, general check over, make sure everything's good. And um, I've already pre written out the bill while I was waiting, or, or most of the bill while I was waiting for the customer. Got all my gear ready. Uh, as you can see there, that's the state of the air filter, so. All right, back to it. Well, that's the service done on the little 380 Mitsubishi Magna, 380 Mitsubishi, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, the customer is on her way back now to come and pick it up. And uh, yeah, as you saw, it's just general service and check over. Air filter, engine oil filter, engine oil, go through everything. There's some, uh, I need to let her know about the brakes, brakes, Got a little bit of wear left in them, about 30% on the front, 40% wear left, and about 50 or 60 on the rear. So I'll let her know about that, and um, yeah, happy days. So. I can't think. Well, push rotters, that's pretty much day two, Tuesday done. Now, I didn't really get a chance too much more to film the posi track, but uh, what can you do? So, um, we'll pick this up on tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, uh, for a scrap pickup. And good morning, push rotters, Wednesday. So, uh, let me turn you around. So, the only job I've got booked in for today is scrap metal. Uh, we've got to unload all the tools from yesterday. Uh, I've, got a, oh, I've got a little toolbox that I put a select amount of hand tools and bits and pieces in for doing scrap metal. So, we've got to get that organised and go and get the trailer on. Customer would like us there between 8.30 and 9. Alrighty, push rodders. Well, um, the guy didn't really want us to film, so that's that's cool. But uh, that's our first load. Uh, yeah, we've got a fair bit on there. Uh, we've also got a, another 6x4 trailer. Uh, some white small white goods like fans, toast ovens, that sort of stuff. So that'll be the next load. And uh, I, think, um, I think we might even try and do a bit of street scrapping because we're going to have a nice big cavity in between both the trailers because I'm going to flip one on top of the other. So we'll see how we go. Alrighty, we're just around the corner from the scrap yard so let's go and, um, we'll go and see how much weight we've got on this thing. Alrighty, push rodders. Well, that's the last of the um, from that customer. Got a trailer. Uh, we did a little, picked up a few bits like the barbecue, just a few you know, just odds and ends, light gauge stuff. Uh, a few crates, uh, cords, a couple of little electric motors, that sort of thing. Okie dokie. Well, let's get off to the scrapyard and get weighed and paid. Well, push rodders, we are back from the scrapyard. Just had a bit of lunch and a bit of a break for half an hour. 
Now it's time to get into doing invoicing and giving customers a buzz and booking in jobs and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to take the best part of an hour, hour and a half. Well, for sure it is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much about the end of day three, Wednesdays. So, yeah, we've got a process. Uh, oh, there's little electric motors, there's um, aluminium, all sorts of bits and pieces in there. We've got uh, extension cord, That's, the plug's got to be chopped off. Um, got ourselves a car battery. I did keep the box section though. I'm thinking. Don't know whether I'm going to sell it on Marketplace or if I'll keep it myself, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, scored a few extra crates, which is nice. So yeah, we'll unload this and um, I think I'm going to call it a day. I was going to do a bit of tidy up in the workshop, but nah. you know, it is what it is. So I had two full-on days and today was uh, a lot well, I won't say slower, but it, um, it's uh, not as hectic. So, all right, let's pick this up tomorrow, Thursday. All right, well, we're back Thursday morning at our mini loader customer. And, uh, yeah, first things first, we got stuck into a bit of sandblasting, uh, all Porsche parts, I believe. Um, yeah, exhaust systems, all that sort of thing. And uh, then it was into the little mini loader. So we did uh, lift cylinder bushes and bushes there and crowd cylinder bushes and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, put a set of filters through it, oil, good check over. And uh, yeah, a couple of new rear tyres on it. And uh, oh, there you go. As you can see, that's... Bushes are fairly worn out. They should be uh, complete circles. But anyway, it is what it is. Well, we're back at Pushrod HQ. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, we will be in the camera around. Well, I will be, I should say. Just going to spend half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that in the workshop. Just having a quick general tidy up, putting tools away, wiping them down. Um, we've got a crate of scrap that's got to go be sorted into their individual, all the, be sorted anyway. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we are back at my mini loader customer again uh, we've got to put the wheels on um, give it a good wash we'll give it a quick run up uh, he's got some more uh, sandblasting for me to do he's under the pump at the moment he's just got like this huge amount of sandblasting like just yeah and he's also got a VS uh, Commodore Senator and he's got all the rear end out of it at the moment so I've got to reassemble it all the suspension put the diff in all in the cradle or cross member whatever you want to call it so that's pretty much going to be the day for tomorrow and happy Friday to you all so we've got all our sandblasting done got our mini loader finished washed all that good stuff and this is the cradle from the from the Commodore, all the associated nuts and bolts and stuff. Yeah, just putting new bushes through it and bearings and you know all that good stuff. Well, push rodders, that is day five over and done with. So that's just a bit of a glimpse into what I do week in, week out. Uh, look, if you're enjoying that style of content. Put it down in the comments. Uh, also, too, look, even if you prefer more the car show and events or the repair videos or the modification videos, 
also too, chuck it down in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. And it also helps me to put out content that you guys want to watch. So uh, I've got to say a very big thank you to all of our subscribers. 540 of them. That's pretty damn cool. Um, and if you haven't already, consider, and if you like the content of course, consider subscribing and liking and comment and sharing and all that good stuff. It all helps the channel grow and um, yeah. So anyway, what are you waiting for? Go on your chance, Daddy. We'll see you next video.